leaders that I saw speaking are very hypocritical. I want to say, for instance, that if you see somebody like William Ruto and Adan Duale purporting to lectures on the issues of, of purported nepotism, and I'm calling them purported nepotism because I don't see where nepotism arises in a, a, a case where we are actually going to elect. There can't be nepotism in election. People will come into parliament and will elect. We will either choose to affirm those people or remove them. But the reason why I'm saying they're hypocritical is that if you actually did an honest assessment of this, uh, especially our elected leaders, there are so many who have fronted their own relatives. We have so many members of parliament who nominated their own brothers and sisters to county assemblies. So you, we have no moral authority coming to say that if it is St Stephen Kalonzo's son who is supposed to go through an election, then suddenly it becomes a big issue. So I want to tell Jubilee that before they try to remove the speck in our eyes, they must remove the log. And the log in their eyes, which is the elephant in the room right now in Kenya, is the issue of unga. Mm -hmm. It is unga. People are not interested about who is, being, who is undertaking nepotism and stuff like that. People are interested on issues of day-to-day -day survival. Yes. They want to know that they can afford a decent meal. They want to know that basic meal like unga is affordable. I mean, it's ridiculous that you can go to the shelves in Kenya and find that now uh, the things which are considered luxury goods are cheaper than essential items like unga, you know, sugar, sugar and milk. It's ridiculous. And I want to tell the president that in other countries, when a country reaches this level, the most honorable thing for the president to do is not even to wait for August 20, 2017. He should resign now and let somebody else who is capable of handling the country to handle. If you look, there's a, a need to deal with in-house, especially on this issue of Yala. I would want to encourage him that if he thinks that there's something that is going on wrong in the party, he needs to go in we need to go in-house and deal with those issues in-house. It is not in order for us to be airing our dirty linen in, 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 in public. And especially where the people that we are purporting to be airing the dirty linen with are themselves uh, wolves in sheep's clothing. Uh, somebody like Duale or Uhuru Kenyatta or William Ruto have absolutely no moral, moral authority to lecture us on anything to do with governance. They have failed. If you look at the health sector, it is corrupt, it's collapsing because uh, Uru's sister is said to be part of the people who are, you know, who are mentioned in the scam. I've told you before, Beth Mugo was uh, nominated as a senator. So please don't point fingers at us when you yourself, your house is dirty.